Phil Rogers has an impressive CV. Two years senior editor at cult magazine Splot, before moving on to revitalize ailing comic The Bimbo in less than eight months. Now Phil reckons he has met his biggest challenge yet, becoming editor-in-chief of the children's comic book The Crackle. In just five years, The Crackle's circulation has dropped dramatically from three million copies to just 250,000 per issue. It's Phil's job to turn it around, and needless to say, some of the artists are wary of the impending changes. Well, uh, I started 29 years ago. And, uh, Mr. McIntyre himself started me. He gave me the job. Uh, that's when he was still living, of course. And uh, I, I created... Uh, <laughs> I actually created the uh, Andy Ten. Originally, it was going to be called Fix It Fred, but, uh, ah, well, as, as fate would have it, uh, you know, it turned out to be Andy Ted. And, uh, hey! <laughs> So anyway, uh, aye, it's the most, it's been the most popular character in the Crackle. In fact, he's been front page Ted for 900 issues. And uh, for, for that single fact, I'm very proud. I really am very proud indeed. Phil calls a meeting. Right, first up, we're killing Handy Ted. Hey! Eh? Oh my! Oh, no, I didn't hear that. I did not hear that, right, eh? Polly. You're the <laughs> killing Andy Ted! Right, can anybody tell me what is wrong with this? Eddie's 11. There's nothing wrong with that. Look at the manager. He's wearing flares, for Christ's sakes. And as for his teammates, look at their haircuts. They look like the <laughs> Bay City Rollers. And Eddie Lyons, the star player, he's driving around in a car that looks like a <laughs> Vauxhall Viva. And what's the storyline, eh? Eddie can't play because he'd lost his boots. That could happen. <laughs> Eddie would have a Nike sponsorship. There'd be a thousand <laughs> pair of boots in there. Changes, gentlemen. You don't like them. You know where the door is. Fear has descended over the cartoonists. They struggle to come to terms with Phil's new modern image. Uh, well, I've, 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 I've got a few ideas. Um, this one here is uh, Peter's pumpkin. Um, now, that's about a wee boy, Peter, uh, and he befriends a, a magic pump. <laughs> a month later, the artists meet with Phil. It's make or break time, and tension is at an all time high. For some of the artists know, this is their last chance to save their jobs. Right, Willie, you're up first. What you got? Uh, right, um, a netty on the internet. That's what I've come up with. Now, uh, she's an orphan. Uh, she's got no mother or father, but anyway, she's been given this present of a computer for her birthday, you see. I like it so far. I mean, go on. Right, well, uh, she's, uh, she travels about the internet. Like that, you see? Because you can see it all, you know, because she's in amongst it. You know, and she's got her internet chums and she has adventures with them and that sort of thing, you know? How do you mean? Really? Uh, well, she flies. She can fly, you see? Flies in, in amongst the, the, the... It's a modern computer, you see? Uh, so it's got all the internets and all that sort of thing <laughs> inside it. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? <laughs> Let me show you this. Uh, this is... Peter's magic pumpkin. <laughs> it's not him, I mean, it's, you know, there's a magicness about it. Oh. Clear your desk out, mate. You're finished. <laughs> yeah, let's go down. <laughs> the new edition of the Crackle hits the streets with all the new characters, but circulation figures are in freefall, and an angry mob are baying for blood. Now it's Phil's turn to feel the heat. <laughs> Next week in the Crackle. Yeah, can you get me Willie? I, I want to talk to him about that pumpkin thing. 